Hi folks, well it's a very sad day today. I've got no beer I'm afraid. So we're just going to have to have a look at the plants. Let's go! So it's uh, Wednesday night at the moment few days before I'm going to record a greenhouse update but I've still got a problem with aphids and if you just have a look down here you can see like millions and millions of little dead aphids stuck down in the corner there and uh, they're all over the place because these plants are absolutely covered with pyrethrum powder but this is actually the third time I've done this now and the aphids seem to be uh, well it's although most of them are gone I think they just keep coming back and uh, this one here has got a few spider mites on it so I have got hold of myself or got hold for myself some greenhouse garlic smoke fogger which is supposed to be food safe and you don't need to take the plants out and you can still eat the fruit and that kind of thing and allegedly it kills all the pests that are plaguing me so I'm going to give this a try I just thought I'd get the camera out to see what it looks like when the greenhouse fills with smoke and then after this is cleared I've got some more spider mite predators waiting to go and they can uh, come in and hopefully kill anything that this hasn't already killed or kill the spider mites anyway and um, this should kill it I believe but we'll give that a try so I've taken the lid off this thing and let's see if I can do this one handed I've got two of these each of them says they do a six foot by eight foot greenhouse so hopefully between the two of them it should be just about enough And there goes the smoke. Second one we go. And there we go, we're filling it with garlic smoke. So we'll leave this overnight and uh, clear out all the smoke in the morning. This one seems to. Ah, oh, yeah. Now we're really going for it. Oh, right. Better exit. Let's have a look at the plants then. So the onions are growing really rather fantastically well, and uh, these onions say we can use this growth as spring onions. And um, having tried it before, I can say it's absolutely delicious. Very, very nice indeed. And the second bed of onions, looking real good as well. Um, this is a tomato sweet aperitif in the corner, which is a very happy and loving life. I've uh, got my golden berry, which is doing alright. Yeah, long tangle of roots on there. One of the peppers starting to really start going for it now, splitting at the top there. And the same with this one, we're starting to cluster up there to split. And you can see down here on the stem, um, you might be able to see, the label wasn't in the way. We've got loads of little shoots coming out there as well, so I think the peppers are loving it in here. Pea's doing nicely, but I need to arrange some support for it, and I'm actually probably going to move it out of this container and into an NFT rail instead, because um, I want this spot for something a bit bushier. Um, sweet aperitif number two, both of these have done this. They sneakily sent out what was a low-down branch and suddenly turned to a runner while I wasn't looking in the last week. I've been really on the ball about uh, getting all the side shoots out of these but no, sneakily they'd put out a good foot long one there and uh, finally on this bottom row we've got this cucumber here which is again really looking well the first cucumber died, this one is alive let's go with that, it's alive and it's put out some leaves and it's got bigger and it's got some roots that look pretty good but the real story today is up here with my strawberries and uh, after my mission to kill off all the bugs and pests on these, these strawberries have just gone mad for it. And I think every single one of them pretty much has put out half a dozen, a dozen different berries. Uh, I've just got a whole row full of them there. And these are the little uh, spider mite predator sachets. And round the back of there, ah, come to me. Uh, one ripe strawberry, 
and somewhere I saw another one ah, sneaking around the back of there not quite ready yet but yeah um, really really good on these really really happy finally got the strawberries growing like they should once again um, hopefully it'll last there's another little one there like that yeah. Now since the strawberries are doing so well and they've got so much fruit on at the moment I think I'm going to use up the last of my can of boost. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to buy this again but um, I might as well feed all these oligosaccharides to the strawberries and it should supposedly make the fruit taste sweeter and better and boost everything and it'll all be amazing and marvellous so um, bung the rest of that in. And actually having just discovered that I've got a full 4 litre bottle of this stuff in the uh, cupboard I've refilled it and I've done the uh, all the DWC buckets as well so my tomatoes and peppers and everything else will be getting some can of boost as well. So, see what difference that makes but um, and given the growth in the last couple of weeks well it's been superb anyway so I'm pretty sure there's some flowers coming on there. Ah, uh, getting exciting. And just a quick look over here in greenhouse number two which has been beautifully tidied up and um, I've sorted out some stands for these for this NFT rail using the remnants of a different NFT rail and the uh, pet heat shrink tape that I love so much which actually makes this really rigid and secure and solid and uh, I don't think it's going to fall over at all but I'm, I'm giving myself special bonus points for reuse of old materials um, mainly because I couldn't find any wood and uh, yeah just melted down the end of the pipe with a blowtorch so it would bend and uh, bent it to shape, drilled a couple of holes in it put some uh, old pet heat shrink tape made from old plastic drinks bottles heated it up with the blowtorch and we're all locked in and I've got uh, um, a mixture running through there at the moment that's uh, very high in hydrogen peroxide just cleaning this tube out and I'll leave that running for 24 hours or so the uh, huge number of bubbles there is because I use washing up liquid to help slide this all together so uh, I'll leave that running 24 hours or so just to clean out any gunk in there and then it's ready for some plants to go in and uh, at the moment I think I've got four that can go in there but uh, we'll have to wait until the next update to see them Right, thanks for taking the time to join me today folks and um, hope you enjoyed it see you next time, cheers! How did it ever come to this? <laughs>